Hello and welcome back. VP here. In the past couple of weeks, we've had reports of two air taxi startups that are looking to go public via SPAC merger. Both are electric passenger aircrafts. The first one is Joby Aviation and the second one is Archer. I would like to talk about both companies, but I will start with Archer because according to the reports, the deal may be announced as soon as this week. Let's read the article. The transaction announcement will likely include pipe financing of at least 500 million from strategic investors, including an airline. Yeah, so at this time we don't know what SPAC Archer may merge with. There are quite a few SPACs that are targeting aviation and space. It's very difficult to pinpoint which SPAC might merge with Archer and the Joby. California-based Archer is chasing an electric air mobility market that Morgan Stanley says could be valued at $1.5 trillion by 2040. Archer is developing electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft to serve as an environmentally sustainable air taxi. The top range of the aircraft is 60 miles at a speed of 150 miles per hour, according to Archer's website. Driven by a combination of growing consumer acceptance and favorable regulatory environment, the first commercial urban air mobility passenger routes will be operational by 2025 and the passenger market is estimated to grow to $90 billion in revenues by 2050. While the details of the transactions are not known, I can tell you one thing for certain. You can't expect these two companies to be profitable in the next, let's say, five years. It will probably take more than that for them to become profitable. Air Mobility is set to enter its fourth phase of funding as it starts receiving capital from public equity investors. As demonstrated by announced rumored SPAC deals, as well as growing interest from big ticket uh, investors like ARK Invest. The company said in January it entered an agreement with Fiat Chrysler to benefit from access to its low-cost supply chain, advanced composite materials capabilities, and engineering and design experience. It seems like they're getting ready to start mass production of their aircraft. Their website is very scarce on information. The aircraft will be able to travel 60 miles at 150 miles per hour with today's technology. 60 miles, that's not a very long distance. Yeah, I'm not sure that 60 miles, is it 60 or 50 miles? Well, either way, I don't think it's very practical. But then again, what do I know? Judging by their master plan, it is clear that they're in the very early stages of development. But despite that, I do believe that once the merger is announced, the SPAC share price will, will go up. But Archer is not alone. Joby Aviation is also looking to go public via SPAC merger. Reuters reports, electric passenger aircraft developer Joby is exploring a deal to go public through a merger with a blank check acquisition firm at a valuation of around 5 billion. 5 billion, whoa, that's, <laughs> that's a very rich valuation. Joby is developing an all-electric, zero-emissions vertical aircraft, which it is aiming to deploy as an air taxi service by 2023 at the earliest. The Santa Cruz, California-based company last month agreed to take over Uber's technologies flying taxi unit Elevate. Uber took a stake in Joby as part of the deal. Hmm, well that's interesting. So the best case scenario, they deploy their air taxi service by 2023. I'm guessing it will not happen until 2024 at the earliest, in which case it is probably way too optimistic to expect them to become profitable before 2026. And Uber took a stake in Joby. Well, that's good. Joby has raised more than 800 million in private funding since it was funded in 2009 and in 2020 was valued at 2.6 billion according to Pitchbook. Joby's backers include Toyota Motors and Intel Corporation. Wow, okay. These are uh, big players behind Joby. Okay, well the, this is uh, this is getting interesting. A deal for Joby would come on the heels of another SPAC deal in the sector. 
Air taxi company Blade Urban Air Mobility agreed to merge last month with Blade Experience Investment Corporation, driving up the latter's shares by 50%. What's the share price of Experience Investment Corp? Alright, so Blade is currently traded at around $15.30. Okay, well that's, uh, that's good to know. We'll keep that in mind. So yeah, lots of startups, none of which will be profitable anytime soon. But uh, these are uh, all interesting startups. I will definitely keep an eye out for these potential mergers. Looks like Joby will have a longer range, 150 plus miles. Archer will only have 60 miles. That's, that's a big difference. You can get from LAX to Newport Beach in 15 minutes on Joby. While if you choose driving, it will take you around 1 hour and 16 minutes. Oh yeah, I guess electric aircrafts will be a lot more quiet. That's certainly a big advantage. Joby has been working on their design for over a decade. So I think that means that they're ahead of Archer, at least on paper. Do they have a workable prototype? Let's see. Oh yeah, so they already had a workable prototype back in 2015 and a full-scale prototype in 2017. Okay, yeah, so they are definitely ahead of the game if we compare them to Archer. In 2019, their first production prototype began their rigorous flight testing program to support certification for commercial operations in as early as 2023. Nice. And in 2020, they received their U.S. Air Force certification and that was the very first permit granted to an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. So yeah, definitely Joby is ahead of the game. I would be probably more interested investing in Joby rather than Archer just because of that. But we'll see. We'll wait for the announcement. And uh, based on the share price at the time, I will decide if I want to buy any shares or not. If you want to hear as soon as definitive merger agreement is announced, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll make sure to make a video as soon as the definitive agreement is announced. And as always, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!